a same of a same landscaping, giving you some do-it-yourself home gardening tips. I want to first talk to you today about three distinct types of ground cover, shrubs, and trees. Right now, we're talking about the lirio. This particular lirio book is called the Big Blue. It propagates really good. It comes tall about, about 12 inches, foot and a half, possibly high. And it doesn't flower. That's why it's considered a ground cover. It also takes its time as far as propagating. It propagates really fast. And it's also self-maintaining. doesn't necessarily require a lot of water. It enjoys the heat. And when it buds, it'll give you a nice, small, little buried vine that comes out the center of it. Now, here we have a camellia. A camellia is a flowering shrub. Minorly, minorly, it's a part of the evergreen family, but yet it flowers. It creates a small bud, but this flower comes out to be carnation looking. Really nice, really strong. It, it takes the colors of red, violet, some blues, loves to be a white, and it also will double in size. So some of these buds are also double in size, making it a real nice, pretty, flowering shrub. Now, we have another evergreen shrub, which has grown quite large in size. This is a great specimen of the Laurel Pelham. This one has grown way over 15 feet, really full, kind of thin and dense in the inside of it, but at night it makes a nice green, deep green leaf. This is a lot of maintenance here. As you can see, climbing that is pretty much going to take a ladder and maintaining it is going to take a little bit more of an extension as far as any kind of tremor or, or any kind of shears of any sort. But it serves its purposes. In the corner of the house, hides any type of eyesores. This one's hiding a power line that's right behind it. But it serves its purpose in the corner of this tri-sectional here. You have the lower pillow, which is taken care of, which is in the corner, you have the lirio, which is your ground cover, but then you have your decorator point, which is your camellia, which is going to produce a really nice flower blooming in the spring.